A range represents an interval of values with a start point and an end point that we define by separating them with the range operator, which consists of either two or three dots depending on whether we want the end point to be included in the range. The inclusive notation uses two dots, so in this example the number 5 will be included in the range, while the exclusive notation uses three dots, so in this example the number 5 will not be included. On this line I'm printing out the values of the inclusive range, and here we see that the output includes the number 5, while if I print out the exclusive range we don't see the number 5. To test for membership in the range, we can use this operator which consists of three equal signs. We're testing whether the object on the right hand side of this operator is a member of the range on the left hand side, and this is true, but obviously if we test against the exclusive range, it's false. If we want to perform this membership test against a range literal rather than against a range variable, we need to surround the range with parentheses. Because this range operator that we use to test for membership is the same operator that case statements use to test for equality in each of the cases, we can write a case statement that uses ranges like this, and in this case when we're testing against the number 6, if we print the output we'll see that it matches the 6 to 10 range. As we saw earlier, we can use the each method to iterate over a range, and in this case we're defining a range from the letter A to the letter Z and printing out the entire alphabet. We could also use the step method, in this case to print out every fifth character. And here we see the result.